Good morning, welcome to day 591 of consecutive daily videos. Whose idea was this anyways? Nah, I'm just messing around. Check this out. It is a beautiful day. Stunning. San Diego blew up. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's 78 degrees at uh, 10, 17 in the morning and the Genesis is filthy after yesterday's little escapade up to Legacy Village. So we're going to pull it out now and clean it up. Hmm. Competition. We both have 18 inch wheels. Let's see the size difference for frig's sake. Well, what do you think? I'd say we did a pretty good job. Turned out pretty well. What? The car. The car? Yeah. Beautiful metallic finish. Oh. It took about an hour maybe? I don't know. I said, figure it out. Not too bad. All right, 526, home from the pool. Can you tell? Can you tell maybe? I don't know, my hair looks like crap. Looking at the front of an F12 slash 11, I, I don't know, it's the coupe. Um, and I'm downloading Mountain Lion now. Most of you probably know that today was the day for that. I was out all, uh, all day at the pool, washing the car, lunch. Did I say washing the pool? You know what I mean. Anyways, I'm home now, it's 526 as I said, and I'm downloading that, making a backup on the Time Machine disc here. Looks like we're downloading at 2.1 megs per second, which is pretty good. Usually my internet connection is capable to do around 4.1, usually it hovers at 3.8, so obviously Apple's servers are still slammed with requests. Um, 20 bucks for, a, for an updated OS is awesome, so I'm downloading that, we'll see how it goes. It seems to be really positive, everything I've read online is good at this point, so that's great. Today was is beautiful um, let's see temperature wise we're looking at 85 which is very pleasant and very sunny but not as humid so I, I, it felt cooler than 85 so I'll let you know how the mountain lion install goes 731 I haven't gotten up from my desk we are now actually in my other partition when I bought this computer a year ago it came with the um, 500 gigabyte 7200 rpm hard drive which came with Lion on it. And I haven't really booted into this hard drive for months now. And I've noticed in my primary partition, or my primary drive, the SSD, whenever I open the App Store down here, I get this little notification that says there's two updates. So I go over to updates, it actually says three on mine, just actually like this does right now. Let's see if it does it here too. Exactly, this is what I get. Oh wait, no, not that, that's different. But I click on update and it says it can't update it because iPhoto or whatever else I click on is already installed on the computer. And it tells me to go up here and go to software update. And I do that and now it brings me here. So it's kind of an infinite loop of it telling me that it's already up to date. So I open the actual application. Like if I go to iPhoto, if I open that up, well, it usually doesn't say that. I'm in a different partition right now. But, uh, and then I go to updates, or check for updates, and it says that 9.3.1, I think, is the latest version. Well, that's BS. 9.3.2 came out today. So I'm having problems. Anyways, I'm hoping that updating the stuff on my other partition, putting Mountain Lion on the other partition, uh, I'm hoping that all of that will render these issues and will let me update the applications. If not, I'm going to have to talk to Apple and figure out why it thinks that the old version is the most up-to-date version. Now that I've wasted a minute and 30 seconds of your time, it is now 7.33. Kenan asked if I'm ready to go biking. I am, so we will. This is going to sit here and cock about for a while, so I'm going to go back to... Where's my mouse here? Back to purchases and resume the... Mountain Lion download here, like that, and get that 4.34 gigabytes downloaded. So when I come home in two hours or whenever, I'll have all of this ready to authenticate and install. Goes the Audi. Hey, the BMW M thick dude. I it's 2:54 in the morning. We took a little break there, went on a bike ride while I downloaded a bunch of stuff, and I got that figured out with the applications that would not update here in the App Store. I always had a copy of iPhoto, iMovie, and I think GarageBand in here that, would, that just wouldn't update. When I would go over to Updates, now we're on Mountain Lion, and it shouldn't find anything, but it, it wouldn't update for some reason. Well, I updated my other partition to, um, to Mountain Lion, and I updated all the software there, and then I came back over here and they disappeared, so I guess it was seeing the stuff on the other drive. Uh, so, good thing that's fixed. I'll talk more about Mountain Lion tomorrow. It seems to be working fine, except for a problem I just ran into with Final Cut Pro. 
I opened it up and I work my events and my um, event libraries and projects, project library. I work off my hard drive. There's a 500 gig hard drive here and the SSD, I think here. Um, and I work off the hard drive because it's you know, 30 gigs of project files that I don't want to waste space on the SSD and just burn it up quicker since they don't last as long traditionally. So um, I opened it up and over here it is not finding my hard drive in here for some reason. Does anybody know how to add a, a whole hard drive to my project library? It finds my external drive and the SSD no problem. So I had to copy all of the files over to the SSD and burn up all my free space, like 27 gigs I think, to get my event library and my project library and all of these files I'm working on. The tail lights are here, the trip is here, and here's the vlog um, to get that to work. So if anybody knows and can help me out, let me know because I need to figure that out. So this is going to be uh, the end of today. Good biking day. A couple of nice cars today. Um, pool. And a lot of stuff on the computer, which, which is good. And there's your proof. There's my emails from Sparrow that it is indeed mountain light. So leave me some comments with that, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Okay, disregard that. Found it. I had to uh, change my permissions on the drive so Final Cut Pro could read and write instead of uh, guest access only. I don't know why it defaulted to that. But now my uh, hard drive's back, so I'll copy those files back over, and we're good to go. Good night.